we are currently here, and by we, I mean me, myself, and I, and by me, myself, and I, I mean Inspirato Projecto, and by Inspirato Projecto, I mean Inspirato Projecto Podcast. And by Inspirato Projecto Podcast, I mean the very thing you are listening to right now. We're riding a bus to Glendale. Glendale, Glendale, na na, na na na, here we come, na na, na na, Glendale, Glendale, na na. That's where I want to be Oh, Glendale, Glendale That's where I'm going Please drop me off there In Glendale City That's that's where I want to go right now Talk about synchronicities here, ladies and gentlemen, especially after... And I've talked a lot about that National Lampoon, the, the, the two movies, the two movies, documentary and biopic about National Lampoon magazine, which then gave birth to the Radio Hour, which then gave birth to a lot of those guys being utilized for Saturday Night Live. Now, of course, all that gave birth to the movies, Animal House and Caddyshack. So that has been in my brain big time. I saw that before I went out to Denver with the Yachtly crew over the weekend, and it was in my brain. I looked at the group, of, I looked at everybody in a different lens, through a different lens, through a different perspective. Something about, after seeing those movies, unlocked this extra gateway within my brain which I felt had been firing on all cylinders when I was going to Columbia College during those years. Prolificiency, prolif, prolificient, prolificiency, 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 prolificiency. And the improv groups, and the plays, all that writing. Wow, man. Wow, man. This, this, uh, this, this, it felt like it. So, yesterday for kicks, I decided to call my buddy Darren Toonder, improv extraordinaire. In the past, I have substitute taught for his improv class on occasions where he had, a, uh, he had, a, an, uh, an audition that he had to go to. And, uh, I had to sit there and I had to know, teach these young folks about the, the greatness of improvisation as we know it. And it was great. So I was calling him up, talking with him yesterday, see what was going on. He had called me over the weekend. I didn't get a chance to call him back. So I was returning that phone call. And he ends up asking me, hey, do you want to, Im- do you want to substitute teach my improv class tomorrow? And I said, would I ever... So that is what's happening now. Currently, driving our way. You know what's so exciting too? Driving our way. Driving our way. What's what's extra crazy about this? Is that the the uh, bus that I'm on right now? It's going to drop me off at. Check this out. Colorado and Broadway. I was going to point out the synchronicity about the fact that I was just in Colorado. Now I'm going to point out another synchronicity that just popped into my brain was that the place that we played in Denver, Colorado was 7 South Broadway. That's right. We were at the High Dive Bar in Denver on a street called Broadway. So I'm taking this bus to Colorado and Broadway. Holy moly. So you can imagine my head is exploding all over the bus right now. My 
my head is exploding all over the bus right now. My head is exploding all over the bus right now. My brain is, uh, my brain is, my brain is splashed all over the walls. My brain is splashed up on the ceiling. Etc. Etc. And so forth. So forth. So I had to point out those miraculous situations. I also talked to uh, one of the Meat Clown worker drones over at Meat Clown Industries. I just got off the phone with him before I decided to do this podcast. Uh, Meat Clown drone C R M one one four. C, like C E C, R as in radical, M as in mastermind, 1 as in Oppenheimer, 1 as in outstanding, 4 in force field or Frankenstein's Frankfurters. There you have it, dear listener, dear reader, dear poet, dear gardener, dear crocheter, dear painter, dear shoemaker, dear car driver, dear lawn mowing person, dear bus driver. As I hold this phone up to my ear, my fingers are feeling strange. Quite strange. Why they're feeling strange, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way that I'm holding it up to my ear. There's a man, there's a man sitting in front of me. And he's got a necklace that has has the evil eye on it. It's the same evil eye medallion pendant thing that I used to have. I used to have it. Last time I saw that, I was playing the character Click Roads. Click Roads. I take on a, a play on words of Nick Roads for the Duran Duran tribute band Rio. And we had played Stone Church Brew in Corona in the Kapow Intergalactic Film Fest. Which, by the way, if you're listening to this and you are a filmmaker or you know a filmmaker who has a project, a music video, a screenplay, how-to video, musical, whatever, whatever, etc., etc. If you got something like that, please... Feel free to submit that to kapowiff.com. Submit that there for consideration of being played in Holly Weird. Everybody, welcome to Holly Weird. Put on your sunglasses, come out to Holly Weird. Put on your favorite wig and come out to Holly Weird. Go ahead and store some shoes and go ahead and put on shoes and come out to Holly Weird. Go ahead and get a tattoo in Holly Weird. Meet Mickey Mouse in Holly Weird. Put your hands and handprints in Holly Weird. If you don't have a podcast yet and you happen to be listening to this, I suggest please get yourself on here on Anchor FM. Get yourself on here. Make a podcast. 
create some craziness and get it out there into the world. Get it out there into the world. Be very surprised. Very surprised with how your ideas, your specific perspective, the dreams in your brain, your wide and vast imagination. Be very surprised to see how this information can inspire people. I'm going to put out a prediction. I'm going to put out a prediction here that there will, in fact, be a 7-Eleven nearby the place that I'm going. Uh, oh, by the way, I got my ozonator in the mail. And I am breathing like a champion. Ideally, this also uh, has helped out my sister Jenny, who has got a terrible cough, terrible headache, runny nose. I woke up with a cough. I ran the ozonator for five minutes, drank it on down. Then I ran it for another 20 minutes, drank that on down. Yikes, Nick, fikes. We shall see what happens. I mean, good God, if this thing if this thing can truly help help people out then just imagine what can happen I can get one for my mom I could get one for Josh and his family I could get one for my dad I can utilize it for any of these folks I can, I can utilize it for anyone who has some sort of ailment or issue or problem. I can, I can utilize that. You know, it's so interesting. I was talking as quiet as I humanly could, and the man sitting in front of me politely got out of his seat and went to go sit down. Some people do not want to hear about bosonators. That is fine. That is okay. It's all right. It is all good inside of the hood. And guess what? Don't you ever forget that. And now a special message from Ice-T. Yo, what's up, my people? This is your host, Ice-T. I've been riding on a bus right now. That's right. But normally, I don't ride on buses. I got my own personal driver who drives me around town. Up and down, all around town. That bus driver drives me around. And then we pick up people, we pick up my homies, and then I, I pack that bus. I mean, I mean my, my driver packs all my homies into into his uh, particular into his particular uh, motion motion activated vehicle and then we just we just pack it on and up with a whole bunch of people and then we and then we bring out the 40s we bring out the Colt 45 40 ounces okay I'm an OG and I like to drink the OZ, if you know what I'm saying. I like to drink the 40 OZ. That's that's just me, the OG. You'll see. You drink yourself a 40 OZ, you'll see. You're going to start feeling like an OG, okay? Yo, don't be scared of drinking some 40 OZ. Take it from me, I'll take gangsta. The Glendale Gangster. Why, thank you so much, Ice-T, for, for uh, stopping by and 
adding your two cents uh, to today's program. Oh, there's another person on the bus here who uh, has a word or two uh, to say about some particular items. Uh, I think you might want... Oh, yeah, do you want to come over here say something? How you doing? This is Bruce Springsteen. The next time you coming out to one of my concerts, make sure to stop by my gift shop. Are you feeling thirsty? Are you are, are you feeling like you need some kind of liquid in your system? Stop by my gift shop and pick up a juice Springsteen. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Spring. Oh, oh he has something else to say. Hey, you come out to see one of my concerts and it's around the holidays? Stop by my gift shop and pick up a Spruce Springsteen. Wow, thank you so much, Bruce, for stopping by. Oh, oh wait, hold on. He has, he has something else to say. Are you feeling a little hungry? Maybe you want to pick up uh, something tasty for your family? We'll stop by my gift shop after the show and pick up a Goose Springsteen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Springsteen. We do appreciate you stopping by uh, the show today and adding your two cents to the broadcast. We do appreciate that. I think this concludes another episode of Esperado Projecto. We will be back again. We will be back again. I said, I said, I said, I said, we will be back again. I said, I said, I said, I will be back again. Do, do, do. Mm.